Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday morning. You know what that means. It's time for a market outlook video for you guys today in FIFA 20. We're gonna take a look at the market this week, what could be coming, what kinds of content, what kinds of SBCs, maybe even objectives that we could see this week in FIFA Ultimate Team with the Shapeshifters promo and also the Economy Bowl um addition with the which is called the economy bowl libertadores um which is going to be somehow incorporated into ultimate team i want to kind of talk about some some of my perspective on that as well so we'll talk about that for a bit as well but most of our conversation is going to be around shapeshifters and the sbcs that we've been getting boys because we have gotten some pretty i'm going to call them good value sbcs um just because a the player selection has been way better and the prices have been um solid they have been doable prices over these past couple days so i want to talk about some of these sbcs and then possibly another player of the month coming with another messy player of the month possibly coming for la liga as well but i'll start with talking about this squad of players which is in packs right now and that's the stuff that we need to cover first the stuff that is in packs right now these cards just got hit a decent amount with supply during squad battle rewards so they are down a little bit this ribbery card though is one of the most hyped up cards think of like how holland was during ffs when he got that 92 rated card that's kind of how this ribbery is uh it just got a lot of hype because people are trying him out people are using him if you've used him let me know in the comments how good he is because i'm really curious he must be pretty good um because a lot of people are keeping that price up he was 1.85 mil right after rewards he's bounced back to 199 and last night if you would check my transfer list i bought one at two mil and sold it for 2.2 uh so this card fluctuates a ton he's a really good one to trade with because there's a ton of people that want to use this card uh this vinicius card today i want to talk about this for a second um and some of the movements around this card i still think this card is is very heavily overpriced but during el clasico today look at this vinicius was 550 El Clasico happened, boom, up to 619,000 coins, dropped back down to 517, and then is now like rebounded back up. I actually think El Clasico was around this time frame, uh, and he bounced back up there. But this card is fluctuating all over the place too, which is pretty crazy, because I think this card is just way too expensive for his price right now. But overall, for the rest of these cards, it depends on what content we get for the rest of the week, but we should see these dropping throughout the rest of the week um, as we get more pack supply from SBCs and stuff like that. If you want a buy time for these, my buy time is going to be um, before weekend league rewards on Thursday because that's what happened last week. I think it's going to be a before weekend league rewards buy time this week on these cards um, like it was last week with the shapeshifters. So that's kind of my opinion on that. We'll take a look later in the week and monitor these prices but I do see these cards going down a little bit more throughout the rest of this week as we get more SBCs. Um, as we talk about these, you know, I want to talk about this a little bit because we got the thing about the last three or four SBCs we've gotten. We'll, we'll go with the last three. Flashback, Aspilicueta, a cool position change to center back. Pretty solid stats, except for the 73 stamina. But that's an SBC that EA is going to be able to take a lot of coins off the market with because a lot of people are going to pay 180, 200,000 coins to get a position change, really good value. Center back in the Prem, where there's not a ton of special cards for center backs in the Prem. So I think a lot of people did that SBC. You know, maybe more of the casual user base did that SBC, but that one I don't think was terribly valued. Um, maybe that's the least favorably, favorably valued out of the three I'm going to talk about. We have Espilicueta as one of the last three SBCs. Then we also have, um, where's Ramos? I want to talk about Ramos. This guy... This SBC is being done by the load. There are so many people doing this SBC right now, and I want to show you proof of this. People are doing this SBC, and they're playing him at center back. They're doing this SBC, and they're actually playing him at center back, though, because if you take a look at Road to the Final Militao, I bought Militao for my team on Thursday of last week after Real Madrid lost. He was 460,000 coins, right? 460K. He was back up to 500k after weekend league rewards the couple or the day after that. They played Wednesday, I think. They played Wednesday. I bought him Wednesday night for 460. He went up to over 500k after weekend league rewards on Thursday. Look what happens now, man. He was down to 425k after Ramos came out, and he's been chilling around there, back up to 450 now. But uh, this 
This Ramos card is killing center backs all around the game. Baby Cannavaro? Look at this price, bro. Baby Cannavaro is down 100,000 coins. He was 770. He's now 620. This kind of drop is because of the Ramos. Like, if you look at the drop, it happened on Saturday. He was 730. Started dropping 667. And it's just weekend league sell-off and people doing Ramos, which are making some of these cards fall, especially in the center back uh, range. A lot of center backs are falling down in price because this, this is an end game card. This is basically a team of the season esque Ramos. Uh, I know it's right back. So the position change is interesting, but a lot of people are using him as a center back in game. And this card is very, very good from what I'm hearing. And a ton of people are doing it and that's really affecting the market, but that's a good value. I think 500 K for this card, I think is, is decent or good value, right? You do get some tradable packs back. Um, mega premium gold players pack rare electrum but this card is really dope and that's an end game card that a lot of people were going to use so i i, I kind of rate that ea that that was a good sbc gg's ea on that one and then sunday we got rooney flashback right i even think that this sbc isn't too terribly valued i know it's hard to link but if you're a rooney fan this is a legendary card and you know, rooney gets the flashback every year right past couple years he's gotten an sbc card and this is just this is just a big time boost for this card. 92 shooting. Uh, agility and balance doesn't look terrible. His agility is a little bit eh, but 90 strength and 93 aggression. To me, this almost looks like maybe a box to box center mid or a cam. And he's probably going to have the sticky with the 90 strength. Agility is a little bit eh, but he's got good acceleration and 99 composure. So I think this is a good value SBC as well. If you're somebody who is, a, is somebody who likes to, you know, put cards in your club and like a card collector of sorts, the Panini is what some people call it. I think this is a decent value SBC. And the reason why I'm talking about those three SBCs is um, fodder prices have gone up, but that is because EA has continued. They've been putting out multiple good value SBCs in the past few days. So what they're doing is they're really chipping away. They're chipping away at our coins and they're chipping away. A lot of people have gone unassigned on high rates, right? People bought pages upon pages of 85s and 86s. 86 is at like 12,000 coins. Now they're up to 14, right? These cards are only going to keep going up more because those SBCs, Ramos is out for the rest of the year. Um, Rooney is out for this entire week, right? And I do expect for us to get more SBCs this week. Um, with, I think we're going to get a, an SBC today, actually, on Monday. Another shapeshifter SBC, which somebody told me it was going to be Lacazette. So that could be an interesting SBC that a lot of people would want to do, especially if it's priced accordingly and priced accurately. A Lacazette position change to right wing SBC would be interesting. So I don't think these high rateds, they're not done yet. And that's this is the main point that I want to talk about with these is EA likes to do this, right? You see your investments go up a little bit. A lot of people have invested in high rateds. I'm sure a lot of you guys have too. I have my club stocked full, like 500,000 coins worth of high rated golds. Am I selling yet though? No. And the reason I'm not selling is because EA wants you to sell now. They want you to sell at these little bits of profit. They're going to chip away. They're going to put an SBC out, right? One SBC here makes 86 rateds go up 2K. A lot of people start selling. Think about all the, all the people that are unassigned and have been unassigned for a while. They're tired of being unassigned. That's something that, you know, you can't sit there for too long and unassigned. You can't open packs. You can't do much when you're unassigned. EA knows that. So they're probably, gonna, what they're doing, This they did this, they've done this earlier in the year. When they know people are going unassigned, they chip away with good value SBCs, right? And they get people to sell. And what happens after that is the high rated start going up exponentially because nobody is investing in them because they're already getting higher and they keep putting out more SBCs to get them to go higher. And there's less people that are selling those cards they had in their club, right? So there's demand is, is, is right here and the supply still is here. But as people stop selling, the supply comes down. The demand stays the same for these SBCs that they keep putting out, you know, 200K SBC here, 150K player SBC here. And then you see those prices continue to rise up. So if you have high rateds and you're not unassigned and you can and you can hold them, I would continue to hold them. Again, what, what did I mention over here? What do we have coming more of this week? I expect a player SBC today and I would, I would expect one or two more, maybe throughout the rest of this week, a flashback or a moments again. Maybe that's too, thinking too, um, you know, positively, but we're probably getting another player of the month SBC on Friday. This Aguero is expiring in four days. I would expect player of the month voting for Premier League to start on Monday and then would probably close on Wednesday. 
Um, maybe that's too short of a window. We'll have to kind of monitor that and see what happens. But that is a very high probability of a, pl- a Premier League Player of the Month SPC coming this weekend. And then we could get another Player of the Month Messi. Yes, we could be getting another Player of the Month Messi, depending on who wins this. And this voting for La Liga POTM February should be coming out pretty soon as well. But uh, Zakaria, I, I forgot to mention Zakaria. This is also a pretty good value SBC. Not the best one ever, but solid, right? All we need is one more of those SBCs, especially if it's Lacazette. That's probably going to require, you know, maybe 300, 400,000 coins. If it's a big time stat boost, you might have people interested in doing it. And that's going to rise 85s, 86s, and 87s most likely. So I would expect the SBC fodder to continue rising this week. I would not sell it if you have it. I would hold on dearly and you can you can get more profit for that stuff if we continue getting more SBCs. And this is kind of what happened with the baby icon SBC as well. They dropped SBCs here and here and here. And then all of a sudden they dropped the baby icon SBC and everything exploded. Everything exploded when we were least expecting it is when they dropped that SBC. So I'm not saying it's going to happen. But it is possible. Uh, a sh- shapeshifters guaranteed SBC too. That would p- cause an increase um, in some of the high-rated golds as well, like a, an exponential increase. I think if it was repeatable. So SBC wise, I think we have some more to look forward to this week, and I would hold on to your fodder. Objective wise, I don't think that we get any objectives related to f- um, shapeshifters throughout the rest of this week. If you're doing Bartra, GGs. Looks like a good center mid, honestly, if you can boost his passing. Maybe you give him, like, what, a catalyst or something? Boost uh, passing and defense, maybe? Doesn't look like a terrible card. I'm not going to grind it, but that's just me. Um, and, yeah, so that's not terrible. I don't. I wouldn't expect another objective, though. One thing I do want to point out, though, is on the 3rd, March 3rd, we are expecting the Conmi Bowl Liberatore stuff to come into foot. And I want to talk about this for a little bit today. And just chat about how I feel like this is going to go this week. Because this is something that we've never had before. They bought the licenses for this this year. uh, And their whole thing is just basically bringing us into the biggest competition in South America um, with with some sort of content. They've already kind of released what it's going to be looking like. There's going to be stuff in career mode, what they've said. We're going to be able to use uh, teams that we haven't used. Boca Juniors, River Plate. Uh, I think some of these guys we haven't had like the rights for before um but they're going to be in the new economy bowl liberatory tournament and kickoff mode so we're going to have modes outside of foot related to this this mode that doesn't really matter to us too much um the heated competition of economy bowl comes alive in those two modes with new stadiums authentic match presentation this is cool if you're a fan of south american football and a fan of this competition that's freaking dope right it's pretty cool uh and then it says something about Ultimate Team here. It says, get the ultimate connection to Conmi Bowl Liberatories with custom content in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. Enjoy select special items and themed in-game content that connects you to the Conmi Bowl Liberatories as you assemble your dream squad. So this, to me, makes me think that we're going to get something that is going to be a player, some sort of new kind of player or something I first read this and I thought they're probably going to give us a kit and a ball and a TIFO and call it good, right? I think we're going to get more than this because it says, enjoy select special items. Usually when they talk about special items, they're referring to like um, cards that are in packs and they're referring to um, like actual foot cards in the game, not just like TIFOs and and stuff like that. Um, I do, I believe this part though, themed in-game content, this to me says TIFOs, jerseys, or kits, sorry, um, balls, and maybe like a a stadium theme. That to me is what that reads. Uh, And then of course, as you assemble your dream squad. So this makes me think we're going to get some sort of of cards for this promo. I don't know if it's going to be like separate, if they're going to run it um, the week after this one, but it says it starts on March 3rd. So maybe we get like the kit and stuff and they run the the Conley Bowl Libertadores team is in packs or something. I don't know how they would do that technically, or if they're just going to release them by SBCs or what it is, but I'm, I think I'm expecting some, some new cards on the game and we'll have to, we'll take a look. Obviously, if we see, um, cards added to the code, uh, obviously we know when cards are added to the code and they, they bring a new card design in, then we'll be of course attentive to that. Um, but I feel like we're going to get something with this common bowl liberatories. And I'm curious to see how it affects the game as a whole, because this isn't something that we've had a lot before and it could also be a precursor to what's going to happen with the euros 
the summer as well. So that's something to think about uh, a little bit too. Man of the match cards at the moment. I want to bring these guys, these guys to your attention. These guys are going to be very investable this week, in my opinion, because they have been in increasing in price and fluctuating in price so much every day. How much is Serge Nabry right now? Serge Nabry was just 100,000 coins flat during squad battle rewards. This guy was 100k last night as well. Went from 120, 100 flat to 120 within a few hours on Saturday night into Sunday. No, on Friday night into Saturday. And Saturday night into Sunday, he had similar boosts in price. So this card has a lot of hype right now. Just because it's rare and because, you know, Byron played really well in that Champions League game. Nabry's playing really, really well at the moment. And uh, this is kind of a left wing in the Bundesliga. You know, there's only a couple options there with Kingsley Coman. Um, who else do you have? Left wing in the Bundes. There's not a ton of crazy options, especially from Bayern, right? I know you have the Perisic um, storyline card uh, or the mission card, but... This is one that's available on the game. He's got the four-star, four-star, so it's a nice card. He's also right-footed, uh, so that's nice on the left side for cutting in and doing a finesse shot. So that is very nice for this Nabry. I would expect this card to ride, rise out of packs just as I would Gabriel Jesus, um, his special card, which I don't entirely know what the price of it is. I think it's like 40 or 50K. Let me check. Gabriel Jesus. He's got the inform, so we kind of have to filter through that unless we do... A specific position, which I think I'm going to try. Is it a left wing? Or I think his card might be a left mid. So let me search left mids. Left mid Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, here he is. So this card's, I think, 50, 55k? Is that right? 56k? So this guy's 56,000 coins. I would expect this to rise out of packs as well. These man of the match cards are always pretty rare, right? But um, for my, my favorites this week, if you want to invest in these, look and see if we get any pack supply SBCs on Monday or Tuesday. Because those, pack, those cards do go out of packs uh, on Tuesday at midnight UK. Like so Tuesday 11.59 into Wednesday midnight. So that's when those cards do go out of packs. Today we got a tradable one for a Prime Electrum Players Pack. Um, so that's nice as well. Last note, these 80 plus upgrades are going away. Do I see them getting replaced with anything? I hope so. I don't know if they are going to though. But I do want to share one quick note. Um, on the stream tonight... I packed from an 80 plus upgrade. I packed Messi untradeable. I I had to share that with you guys because it's freaking dope. There might be a video on it coming later. Um, untradeable Messi from a player pick was freaking dope. So I'm stoked to have him in my squad for the rest of the year. I changed it around. I'm pondering doing this Ramos card right now to put in my own squad just because, you know, for chemistry reasons, I might end up buying some Mado. We'll see what happens. Uh, but. I did pack an untradeable Messi, which was freaking dope. And you, you guys know that I don't play this game a ton. You can tell by my record. Uh, I, just, I don't have a lot of time to actually play this game. And I, I spend more of that time trading. But that was a freaking awesome pull. So if you're doing any more of those to try to pack a shape shifter or to try to pack a man of the match or just do some upgrade packs, you only have a few more days left to do that, like two days. So that's how I feel about the content for this week. I'm really curious to see what they do with the Libertatory stuff. But other than that, I would expect a couple more player SBCs. And uh, other than that, it should be hopefully a week with something to do, right? The last couple weeks during the week, it's been really bland and there's not been much to do. So hopefully they switch that up this week and give us some decent content during the week, SBC wise, um, either repeatable wise or with this Kami Bowl Libertatory stuff. Hopefully they can spice it up a little bit with that coming this week. No Champions League this week either. So that usually provides some midweek hype. We don't even have that this week. We have to wait one more week for that. We'll be talking about that in uh, next week's video on Monday for sure. But if you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.